Is Zoro the vice captain of the Straw Hat Pirate? Find out today. Many fans consider Zoro the vice captain of the Straw Hat Pirate. I don't think he is. The reason about this is because when you really think about it, doesn't the captain need to make new vice captain or first mate? The captain needs to give you that position. I, but being the vice captain means you have authority over the crew. Mean the captain thinks of you differently, in a way. Luffy thinks of Zoro the same as he thinks of Nami. He thinks of them all equally, and no one in that crew has any more power than the other. In fact, Luffy doesn't give himself much more power than he does everybody else. Normally, he'll let them make the decisions, unless it's something he feels very strongly about, like what island you're going to go to or something. Punk Hazard is a great. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. Punk Hazard is a great example of this. On Punk Hazard, when Nami and Chopper wanted to save the children, it w he was like, okay, your call, I don't care. Another example, with Hachi. Instead of Luffy being like, I'm the captain, I made the decision, he looked at Nami and was like, hey, Nami, this guy was, this guy was pretty mean to you. One, you, you want to save him or not? Like, it's your choice, I don't care. <laughs> Luffy lets other people make decisions. Luffy does not have a ranking system in his crew. The way I believe this works is I believe the government, because Zoro is the second strongest, considers him the vice captain because that's normally how it works. Zoro, being the second strongest, will also take charge a lot of the time when Luffy is not there. But, in the eyes of Luffy, I don't think he considers Zoro the vice captain. I think he considers Zoro another member of his crew, another one of his precious Nakama. Uh, I don't think Luffy thinks differently of anybody. That is my opinion, of course. And there all there are reasons why you could believe Zoro the vice captain. He was he'd been on the crew the longest. He is debatably the second strongest member. He, he does talk to Luffy a lot. Like when there's a problem. And if Luffy's gonna do something stupid, he's like, Luffy, you can't do that. And I like that. He does tell Luffy when he's going to do something stupid, he does make him stop. That is very true. Like on Punk Hazard, he gave that speech about how they can't goof around in the New World. Or how recently he gave the speech about how they can't take on Kaido and Big Mom at once. And how the cook left on his own. Or how in Water 7 he said, you know, he explained to everybody that if the crew doesn't respect Luffy, it will fall apart. And they can't have somebody like Usopp who will just shit on the captain so easily on the crew. And those are multiple examples. I mean, there are multiple other reasons why you could consider him the vice captain. I just don't consider him the vice captain because I don't think Luffy considers him the vice captain. Alright? Just like I don't think... Uh, Luffy considers Sanji as anything more than his friend that can cook. I don't think he considers any of them in a special way. He definitely doesn't consider how strong they are when it comes to whether he decides whether or not he wants to help them or not. But that is besides the point. He doesn't look at them any differently and he views them all as his equals. They're all the same. And they're all just his friends. Since, and since Luffy had not viewed Zoro as a vice captain, I don't view him as a vice captain but they're all high pirates. I am going to put this video out there because some people think, you know, Zoro the Light Captain and I am going to state why I don't consider him what the Light Captain. But God, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you consider Zoro the Light Captain, please tell me why in the comment section down below. And remember guys, to please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Pink Nation, signing out. Have a great day guys.